So an H1 blocker would be like an antihistamine medication and an H2 blocker would be something like Pepsid AC. The issue with the antihistamine medication long-term is that it breaks down your DAO enzyme, which is the enzyme that breaks down histamines, histamines in the body. So ultimately you're teaching your body not to be able to do that on its own. The issue with the long-term H2 blockers like Pepsid is that it reduces your stomach acid. Now, many people have low stomach acid as it is, and because they get a reflux, they think that their acid is high, but it is not. When you're reducing the acid, you're going to invite things like bacteria into the gut. So that's going to lead to things like SIBO, small intestine bacteria overgrowth. Long term, no, I do not think that H1 and H2 blockers are ideal. I do understand though that there are situations where people really have to stay on those H1 and H2 blockers. But the whole point of what I do is I'm looking to see why do you have the histamine intolerance and the mass activation syndrome in the first place? And then we work on those underlying drivers like the gut and hormones and mold and stress. And then the need for those H1 and H2 blockers should really reduce.